Chad, guess what I have here? These are the keys to the car for the yeah, yeah. 2012 Volkswagen Beetle. Things don't let me drive it. Okay, away from here. I've always been a fan of Beatles before, but you know, they have no known for the luxury. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is... Look at that design. It is. This is the turbo uh, edition. It has a yeah. four-cylinder turbocharged engine. 200 horsepower. Absolutely. You have a leather-wrapped steering wheel, oh. leather-wrapped gear shift, um, gear shift, excuse me, leather-wrapped uh, brake, leather seats. So, nice. so yes, you are looking have a oh, oh. 200 horses for a vehicle this small, you're going to go fast. Exactly. So, of course, they can so, Okay. So you have the seat the vehicle in, but you're going to see some of the new upgrades that are available. This happens to be the Turbo VW Beetle 2012, and they're doing some, I have to tell you, they're doing some really sweet things, because a lot of you have known the VW Beetle as, or the Bug, as cute and fun. Now this is cute, fun, and now luxurious. They've got a sound system in there by Fender, who, who partnered with Panasonic to give you a sound system. Also inside, oh, actually there's this coming over here. After they come up over here, so. so inside here, besides the sound system, we talked about this leather wrap steering wheel. They've got navigation, mute, media stuff all right here in the center. Um, this is also a keyless start for the car, so you don't even have to have your keys, cup holders. We've got a moonroof, sunroof. Now what's also really cool is they've got this button. Oops, we, I think they, um, they took the keys out. But you press the button and it will open at various degrees and um, 
well, actually, I'm going to open up different angles and degrees um, for you while you're driving. Isn't that cool? This is, oh, oh, oh. Okay. So just press once. Just press once. Yep, that just turns on the electronics. Okay. So and if you need to turn, turn off the radio, yeah. you're going to press that left round button. Yes. Okay. Here you go. So in here, I'm going to show you this because I think this one's really cool. Oh, actually, we put, we put the thing down and we're going to turn it just a little bit and it opens up partially. And then we can do it again and I'll open up some more. So you can basically determine how much air you're getting depending on how you're doing that. You can go ahead and close it back up. And also, if it's a little bit warm as it can be, we've got the screen right here to go ahead and give you some shade. Isn't that sweet? Oh my gosh. And then also if you look inside, we're gonna turn off the engine right here. Unless, unless you want to hear it continue beeping. Um, is look at the carbon fiber accents over here. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, I'm actually surprised at how much there is. And that's the subwoofer for the fender system. It's nine speakers. But as I mentioned, if you need the additional space, the seats fold down 50% on the left and 50% on the right. Plus, your privacy shelf is a privacy shelf. So if you have a lot of shopping or things that you've done, when you close, everything here is covered. But if you do have cargo that stacks up high, that is completely removable. Just unhook at the top. Pop it out, store. I'm really surprised at how much storage this is, and it seats four. Absolutely. And the rounded element of it gives you a lot more interior space, so that even though you're in a compact, you're not, you don't feel closed in. Of course, you've got your spare underneath. <laughs> Actually, it's